Hi, welcome to WinActive Update number two. Uh, last week, we, Rod and I put out to all of the Wyndham community about what's happening at, at Aquapulse, Eagle Stadium and, and Werribee Outdoor Pool. After the announcements over the weekend from uh, the Prime Minister, uh, Scott Morrison and the Premier, Dan Andrews, about what's happening, we thought it was really important to to get back to you and tell you what that means for us here at WinActive and for you, our community. Um, my name's Barry Harrison. I'm the General Manager of Aquapulse and I'd like to introduce Rod Gort as well. Hi, Rod. Hey, Baz, and, and hi to all watching. Um, Rod, uh, General Manager of Eagle Stadium. Fantastic. So what has changed, Rod? What's, what, has, what does it mean for our members? Yeah, look, um, on the back of the announcement and, and the information provided by Dan Andrews, um, in, in essence, um, what it's opened up is the opportunity for, for health and fitness businesses to operate outside with groups of, of up to 10, um, so small, small training, small group training type scenarios. Um, obviously for us, um, you know, we have a very large membership base um, and it's, it's uh, it's not not entirely feasible for us to to service our, our membership base um, with that allowance alone. Um, so at this point, it, it's really not economical for us to to, to do that um, um, purely by running small group training outside. Um, so that's that's where we're at from a health and fitness perspective. Um, from a from a gym, uh, sorry, from a stadium point of view, Baz, um, and a, an aquatic point of view. Um, look, unfortunately, uh, we're, we, we're still closed. We're not able to, no one is able to have uh, gatherings inside. So, you know, that, that immediately shuts down the gym, the, the stadium and the pools as well. But I think that the important thing to realise from, from everyone's perspective is we are working. We're taking advice from governments, peak bodies, safe work, um, about what the opening requirements will be. So not only will we be providing what we think is the best, one of the best facilities or you know, some of the best facilities around, but also the safest. Um, and that you know, could be everything from the, the hand sanitizer through to taking temperatures, um, et cetera. So social distancing. So we're looking at all of that as well, but you know, we're still working on that and nothing definite to report yet. Um, so, Rod, the Find Your 30 videos as well. There's a bit of an update there. Um, yes, yeah, so we're continuing with the content uh, at the moment. We've obviously right. got our, our live sessions in the morning, our pre-recorded um, uh, content in the afternoon. Um, we did speak briefly about the outdoor sessions um, and, you know, how feasible they are for us at this point um, in line with stage one return or step one return as per the government document. Um, what we would really like to do um, is give give some members the opportunity to get involved in the development of that content, um, be it the live classes or the pre-recorded. Um, and what we're hoping to do is invite a small contingent of members to to, to get along and, and to help uh, deliver those sessions outside, obviously in, in small groups, you know, making sure we don't exceed that maximum of 10. Um, and it's going to be uh, an opportunity for us to engage face to face with, with a small number of our members and, and no doubt our group fit instructors will really enjoy having some, some real life members in front of them to, to deliver a class to. So um, that's something we are really excited about, something we are looking at and, and hopefully there'll be some further information going out to our members uh, shortly. That's, that's exciting and I know in talking to the instructors, they, they miss that interaction with, with people. So I think uh, that initiative and, and well done on that. I know that you've driven that, but uh, um, it's, it's going to help and take our, our classes to the next level. Another exciting thing is that we're looking at introducing a new type of class, um, you know, probably three times a week, and that's a, a body weight exercise class. Uh, the, the, the video will be short and sharp, but it'll show you a series of exercises, explain them, explain them to you, demonstrate them to you, and you'll be able to then build a, a whole workout around them. Uh, there are 
uh, I'll call it easy. No, ex no workouts easy, but easy or medium or, or really, really hard, depending on on your level uh, of fitness and, and strength. So that should be out within a week or so, I believe, Rod. Yeah, they're not far off, Baz, and, and they're they're coming together nicely. So um, for all those watching, keep your eye out for them, um, and um, hopefully within our next um, virtual group fitness timetable update, uh, they'll they'll be featured. Fantastic. And looking forward to that one. And I've seen some of the exercises and they, and they look good and they're just right down my alley, that's for sure. As people are aware, unfortunately, um, at uh, WinActive, we've, we've had to stand down a number of people, which we didn't enjoy and we spoke about last time. That has had an impact on our member calls. We're not able to do as many member calls, not nearly as many. We will be continuing with some of them but uh, we'll be reducing the number sub substantially. It's, it's a bit of a shame, but it's something we have had to do, Rod. Yeah, absolutely. Um, look, it is what it is, Baz. And, um, you know, as, as we said in the last update provided, we we'd certainly reached out to a whole number of members um, and non-members for that matter. Um, and those calls were really well received. Yeah. 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 And uh, you've got some news about the um, Find Your 30 Challenge. Yes, yeah, so Find to 30 Challenge kicked off uh, yesterday. Um, we have um, over 300 participants participating in this week's challenge, um, which is a great response. So we're really pleased to have that, that sort of number engage and participate. Um, the, the good news is this is only week one or, or, or the, the first week of challenge. There are, there are two additional weekly challenges to come and uh, registrations remain open. So for those watching, if you haven't uh, registered yet and you're interested either as an individual or a family, uh, please jump on, have a look, um, and it's certainly not too late to register and get involved with that one. Uh, look, uh, we've both been involved with that one and that is exciting and a bit of fun as well, um, for sure. The big question that everyone's asking is when will the centre open? When will the centres open? When will Eagle, when will Aquapulse? Any, uh, what are we hearing, Rod? Yeah, look, Baz, um, we still don't know. Um, we don't know. Uh, we're, we're, we're still reviewing and, and working through all the information that we have on hand. As, as noted in our last um, update, uh, we are planning toward various scenarios um, and hopefully come June um, with, with a further update from Dan Andrews, um, that'll have us better informed and hopefully provide a line of sight as to when our facilities will be reopening their doors. Until then, um, there, there, there is too much of an unknown for us to um, hypothesise on, on when that'll be. Um, we, uh, we've received a few calls um, this week um, from, some, from um, many of our um, you know, uh, loyal badminton players at Eagles Stadium and, and uh, you know, they, they were calling to find out when they could book a badminton call and when they could get into the stadium. And um, we loved receiving those calls and, and we, we provided those those patrons all the information we had. Um, but unfortunately, uh, it's, you know, not something we can provide at this point. Our doors are, are not open um, and, and won't be open until further notice. But it, it was really nice to get those calls and to actually just speak to some of those patrons and, and talk to them about where we're at. Uh, provide them obviously with a with a one to one update, um, and it's it's great to it's great to know our patrons are, are really keen to get back into our facilities and and uh, you know get back into their their chosen activity, whether it be uh, on the gym floor or, or playing badminton in the stadium. So um, we, we would encourage anyone if they've got questions or queries, don't hesitate to give us a call. Uh, we will have someone available um, to to answer the phone, and and um, we can help you out however we can. Look, I think the important things there are, Rod, um, it'll be June before we hear what's happening in the next stages. And, and Dan Andrews did say the current um, restrictions will stay until the 31st of May, the end of this month. And it would be remiss of us if we put even, if we even we guessed as to when we might open. So we're certainly not going to do that and put any false hopes out there. But I think it's important that people realise as well that when we do open, the potential is there that it will be limited access to the stadium and to the pools and to the gym. So we've, uh, you know, we're working through a number of those scenarios, but like everyone else, we're waiting to hear as well. 
Yeah, definitely. And look, I guess um, as as mentioned um, last week, we 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 want to try and get these updates out on a weekly basis or when significant information comes to hand. So. I suspect that Baz that will be back um, sometime, maybe mid mid next week, mid to late next week, with a further update. Um, whilst we know that we're now in um, step one of, of of the return, as per as per the announcement by government, um, you know, there hopefully will be some further information coming through, um, you know, week to week and and in the lead up to June. And and as that occurs, um, let's let's ensure that we keep those watching and all of our members up to date. I look 100%. You know, when we find out something, we'll certainly let you know. We don't have any inside information. And we are just as keen as all of our members in the Wyndham community to uh, to know when we will open, that's for sure. Um, thanks, Rod. Uh, you and I will catch up again next week uh, and hopefully with some, some good news. All right. Take care, everyone. Thanks, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye.